Motorcycle Maniacs, what is going on on this lovely day? Me, it is an outstanding day. Why, you might ask? Because today I start my vacation. That's right. And no, I know this is going, well, it might disappoint y'all, it might not, but not doing a road trip on the bike. I am going to the farm. Uh, got some family land in Oklahoma, and me and the girlfriend are going to go up there for, I don't know, three or four or five days, something like that. I don't know. I can't keep, can't, can't keep count, but so uh, if anybody knows anything about Oklahoma, this being uh, May, storms are, uh, they just pop up, and in Oklahoma, you get these uh, things that look like a cone, and they call them tornadoes, and they uh, wipe out everything in their path, so I was like, ah, no, I don't really want to ride the bike, and plus, I got to take some stuff up to Oklahoma, and don't have the room, so, needless to say, it's a vacation on four wheels, in the cage. But, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, get back, I'll still have a few days off of work. And uh, hopefully get some riding in. Uh, but I wanted to get out and do a quick video. Because I don't know when I will get the next one posted. So, uh, here we are. So I don't have much to talk about. Because uh, I'm in vacation mode. And all I can think about is getting in the sticks in the country. Uh, getting away from the city, uh, playing with the cows, playing with the horses, and enjoying life. Uh, I might attempt to do my first ever, which got a whole lot of disasters in this plan, but my first ever uh, live video while I'm in Oklahoma if the internet cooperates because like I said I'll be in the country and uh, so we'll see how that goes uh, might do a live stream try my first one up there and like I said it could be a disaster if I do it because uh, first off never done one and second off uh, internet's not real reliable but we will see what happens when I get there uh, even if I have time to do it if not I promise I will get a video posted uh, off vacation and go back to work uh, so other than that I'm at 951 miles on the bike uh, so for too long uh, I'll have to do the uh, thousand mile review uh, so that will be coming up uh, oh well, I guess I do need somebody ask about an update on the uh, the crash and the damage and all that the bike uh, did not get it fixed uh, I've kind of been in communication with the girl that hit me uh, she says she's going to try to like well she told me I will pay you so we will see but um, I told her I understand uh, money's tight and all that fun stuff and hopefully she'll make some payments and I can get a uh, the money to repair it um, like I said I actually got back there and uh, tried to uh, smooth out that dent well not smooth it out but knock it out <laughs> and I think I actually got a little bit of it knocked out because after I did that it doesn't seem to be as noticeable so you know we'll see what happens um, maybe I can get enough money to at least replace the uh, the tail light because that was like the cheapest part uh, even though it works fine it's just got the scuff on it and it's dented just a little uh, so we'll see how that goes but that's the update on that I haven't really said anything because um, first off I just kind of forgot on my last video or two uh, but somebody did post a comment and ask it asked for an update uh, so that's it 
Um, we'll see. I'm not, you know, I'm not holding my breath on getting any money out of her, but uh, she told me she will pay me. Uh, she will pay for the damage, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I know I've got a bunch of comments saying, you know, uh, the nice guys finished last, and you, you were too nice, and all that. And I got a phone call coming in. Probably a robo call, which I absolutely love them. Not really. Also, the uh, the fact about if you're nice, you finish last. Well, you know, I do believe in that, but I also believe in karma. And you know, I'm. You know, I got all the comments saying, you know, you should have waited for the police. You should have made a report. You should have done this. You should have done that. And, you know, I did what I did for a couple of... The reason, the main reason I did it was because the bike was... It's operational. It was cosmetic. It, it was something that, you know, it, I could live with it. And plus, like I said... I would have been waiting forever for the police to arrive. I was already been out all day and it went to Denton and I was just, I was just, and then just, and actually I was in a super great mood until then, obviously. And then I was just frustrated and I wanted to be done. And the cops are gonna come out, they're gonna write her some tickets and then is she gonna pay me or is she gonna, is she gonna pay for the tickets? She probably wouldn't pay for either is the way I looked at it, but she's definitely not going to pay me if she's paying a thousand dollars in tickets or whatever it would have been. So I chose to take the nice guy route. Uh, I tend to try to be a nice person. I try to be understanding uh, when it comes to these kind of things. And like in the video, I told you, man, I'm thankful I didn't get hurt. You know, the bike's fine. It's got a little cosmetic issue. Uh, I didn't get hurt. That was the main thing. It had been a lot worse and my bike was totaled and I was laid up in the hospital and dealing with her and not having insurance, so. That's that, but that's the update. I don't want to talk about it because I'm on vacation mode and I'm in a good mood. And I am ready for the country. Not uh, real sure what I'm going to be doing in the country, but just relaxing is the main thing getting to spend time with family uh, that's that's uh, probably one of the best parts of it because uh, my cousin that uh, actually uh, does the farming up there um, he's like my brother man I mean I've been around him since he was born he's younger than I am but But he uh, still talks to me after all the, the the picking on him I did as he was growing up. But So that's a good thing. And like I said, I don't have brothers. I'm, I don't know if I've ever told you all that. I'm an only child. Um, so he's pretty much the closest. I mean, as far as somebody uh, blood related, he's the closest thing I got to a brother. I caught in a few videos and he's my brother from another mother. So it'll be good times to actually spend some time with family, uh, get to see my grandmother, uh, and uh, just good times, man. I'm looking forward to it. God. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this ride and enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. And I will see y'all in the next video. And if y'all have a bike, get out and ride. Just ride safe. Take care. See you next time. Bye.